Hello, today we are going to be adding the suffixes ed and ing to short vowel words. Just like many other days, you need a way to write down words and letters with me. Please gather the materials you need if you have not already done so. Let's begin today by talking about children in a line. Children stand in line for a lot of things, and very often they can talk in line, but sometimes they're asked not to. Well, let's imagine two friends who haven't seen each other for a very long time. And so they're so excited to see each other, they're sharing all the news, chatting away, and an adult says, could you please be quiet? So they start whispering quietly to each other. But they're still talking, unfortunately. So the adult comes over and asks another child to stand in between those two children. And usually that will help them be quiet, but sometimes when they're very determined, they will go ahead and continue to whisper over the shoulder of the child in the middle. But if the adult comes back and asks two children to stand in between the talkers, usually that will get them to be quiet. We call this the rule of two. When there are two people in the middle or two other things in between, then whatever was happening usually stops. This actually works the same way with letters. Let's look at the root word here, pin. It's just a plain word, no suffix on it. If I want to make pin and I do it this way with only the one in in between, this E is close enough to make the I long and the word that I've written is pined. That's not the word we wanted. What I needed to have done is add an extra N so that pinned would be spelled. This is the correct way to do it with two N's. Now look at the next word, pinning. Here we have our plain word pin again. But before we added the ing, we put another n there so that this i is far enough away from this i that it will not make it long. So that is also correct. Let's look at jump, jumped, and jumping. One of these words is incorrect. Let me show you why. First of all, this is the correct way to spell jump. That's right. And this is the correct way to spell jumped because we have two consonants in between this vowel and this vowel. They're not the same consonant. One's an M and one's a P, but that's okay. Any two will do. Okay, we just need two consonants in between. So that's right. Look at jumped here though. How many consonants do we have in between the vowels? One, two, three. That's too many. Remember our rule is two. So we did not need to add that extra P. That was wrong. Let's look at jumping. Was that one done correctly? Yes. There's two consonants in between the U and the I. So yes, that is the correct way to spell jumping. Now let's practice some words together ourselves. Pause the video and copy hop kick, and grin onto your paper. Are you ready? Let's add ED to each of these three words. Now we can't just write ED down the side, we have to think. Hop has a short vowel. We can't let it turn into hoped. So we're going to have to have two consonants. We have one P, we need another. Okay, so write the P on your paper, and then you may add E, D. Now we have hopped. Let's look at kick. Here's our short vowel, the I. How many letters do we need before we add ED? Yes, we need two. Do we have them? C and K? Yes, those are two consonants, so we can add ED. We do not need to add another K. Three consonants would be completely unnecessary. All right, 
right, let's look at grin. Here's our short vowel. Now you decide. Do we need another N or are we good the way we are? Yes, we need another N because we need two consonants before we add ED. So go ahead and fix it on your paper so that you have written down grinned. He grinned at my joke. Let's say these words together one more time. Hopped, kicked, grinned. Very good. Give yourself a pat on the back. All right, let's look at these three words. We have the root word of swim, help, and melt. Let's see if the suffix ing was added correctly on the first two of them. So they made swimming. Let's see if they did it correctly. Here's the short i. How many consonants do we have before we get to our suffix? We only have one, so this word is wrong. We should have had another m in there right there before the i to make swimming correctly. What about helping? Well, here's our short e. How many consonants are between this e and the suffix vowel i? One, two, three. Is that how many we need? No, we need two. So this extra p should not have been put in there. This word is also wrong. Now, pause the video for a minute and write melt on your paper and add ing correctly. Let's see if you can do better than these two examples. Did you look at your short vowel? There's the E. How many consonants come after that? One, two. So we do not need to add another T. We can just go ahead and add ING, melting. When you work on your papers today, count to two very carefully when you're counting consonants and add your suffixes right the first time. Remember, suffixes help to tell us when something happened. Look at this first sentence. James is chopping the logs. The ing there on the end of chop tells us that he's doing the chopping right now. Look at him, hard at work. In this sentence, James chopped the logs. The ed tells us he's done. He finished his job. Look at these sentences. Mom is sipping tea. The ing tells us mom's sipping the tea right now. She's enjoying the good flavor. Mom sipped the tea. She's done. Her cup is empty and she has finished. Notice when these suffixes were added to these words, since there's a short vowel each time, we have two consonants. Now all these consonants happen to be p's, but you know that today we practiced adding suffixes with all different kinds of letters. But the thing that was the same all the time was that we always had two. Remember our rule of two? Two consonants, whether they're alike or different, need to come in between the short vowel and the suffix. Just like we, we talked about if we have two talkers who are really want to talk to each other, you need two other children in line between them to help them not talk. We need two consonants in between the vowels to keep this second vowel from making the first one long. Okay, we cannot let that happen, so we have to have two consonants in between. And also we noticed that the ing reminds us that the action, the thing that's happening, is happening right now. And the ed tells us it is finished. And this lesson is finished. Have a good day. Enjoy your reading today and do a great job on your papers.